guys welcome to my channel today I am going to show you my night routine you know as we... things I like to use is I usually pick up some wipes and these you can get from anywhere um, this uh, that I have excuse the hair and stuff but this I picked up I believe at um, I don't know one of the grocery stores uh, cucumber cleansing tissue I just use this to take the makeup off so that it won't uh, leave uh, the stains all over my um, my face towels um, and I usually pick up a whole bunch of these at uh, Ross or some place like that they usually have a bunch of them on sale so I pick up a few packs to keep them handy in my makeup room and in the bathroom in the car at work anytime I need to have something to clean off my brushes or to just freshen up my face sometimes I need to blot oil or just wipe something off to freshen it up I use these to do that with once I have that makeup off and I'm ready to get started I may go in with um, Noxzema. Now, you guys know Noxzema has been around for a while, and we have generally used this for a few things. Um, yeah, Noxzema is a deep cleansing uh, cream, and it when you put it on, I usually let mine sit for a while. It gives you a tingling sort of feeling in your skin and I remember my mother using this and probably her mother before that and my mother's skin is beautiful and I've been using this ever since I started wearing makeup so Noxzema is a person's best friend so I highly recommend this I know it's old school but it continues to work so pick up a little container of this and give it a try I promise you you won't be disappointed so I use this after my um, my wipes and sometimes I will pick up cold ponds cold cream that will remove your makeup as well I don't use this as much because it's oily and I already have oily skin so I use this sparingly um, because I don't like the greasy feeling it gives me, but I do use it occasionally. Um, if I need to do a soft hydrating mask, I generally use um, this one by Elizabeth Arden. I like this one. I let it sit on and then I take it off. Um, I'm not sure she still does this hydrating mask, but I would pick it up. It's a good one to have. They have a lot of the little masks you can now, I guess, unzip out of the pack and put on your face. But um, And some of those I like also. It's just that it's so wet and you feel like you need to squeegee those when you take them out of the pack. Um, not all of them, but some of them. This one, I, I like the old old type of mask you put on your face and let it dry and then take it off so when I'm pampering myself this is my go-to so if I need to do a pep start I just picked this up as a um, sample uh, and this is an exfoliating cleanser this is nice the granulars in here are very small. I've used it twice already and I really, really like this. Um, you might want to pick this up and give it a go. It cleans your skin. I wouldn't use this every day. Um, I usually exfoliate my face maybe once a week or something like that um, when I feel like I have a lot of dry spots or that my skin needs to be stripped a little bit I use uh, this one I've been using this one anyway so once I have that skin all done up the next thing I will go to um, at night is that I'll put a balm on my lips because um, you might want to use a sugar scrub 
on your lips um, to take away all the dead skin so that your lipstick goes on the next morning nice and smooth and I just use a lip balm they have a billion of them this one's by ASOS and um, I like uh, kind of a flavor in mind so I just pick up a few of these and I use them for my uh, lips and then once I have that on my lips I use the L'Oreal Night Age Perfecting Cream. Now you know we have to have something that's going to take care of some wrinkles for us. So they have a lot of products out there that will do that. This one I use on my face. It makes my face feel refreshed. I use it on my neck. Um, and it just gives me my body when I get out of uh, the shower. I use this. Now this is a mixture. Um, I start off with the African she butter and it comes in a little container like this. And it's actually um, in a great big chunk. And what I do is mix a couple of things in with it and I'll put what I put in with it. And you guys let me know below if you want to see how my mixture of what I put in my she butter. Another thing I like to use at night is that at our age, at any age really, you have aches and pains. This is my go-to, the Australian Dream. Some of you may already know about this. Yes. Yes, child. You need this in your life. I put this on my neck, back, leg, anything that's aching. I spread this on. And if you can get your husband, boyfriend, your mate, your lover, anybody next door neighbor, I don't care. If you can get somebody to put this on and massage it, oh my goodness. Woo! You are going to feel so much better. So, I'm going to put it below. Um, So, I used that this morning. And my also go-to morning routine is to use this Elizabeth Arden good morning eye treatment my eyes are puffy as hell in the morning and you know with medication and sleeping and dogs and all that stuff yeah this helps I put this underneath my eyes every morning when I get up and then when I finish that I go straight to this I have recommended this to my friends at work one of my girlfriends is going through chemo and her face was getting a little dry well a lot dry and I recommended this to her and it has been awesome for her it has hydrated her face put the moisture back in it I just use a a drop on my forehead I put it here here and here and I rub that in and it puts the moisture back in my face and I do this um, right after I finish washing my face um, or right after I get out of the shower before I put my makeup on this is what I use and team which it's about time for me to go to bed so if you want to know anything about any of the items that I use please leave me your questions or comments below